Persona 5 EX is a collection of custom code patches and also a mod made by Death Chaos V2. EX has a ton of newly added features and backports from Persona 5 Royale, which makes your game much more entertaining. This mod has a lot of features like a catchy persona and a lot of new things related to him, other backported personas and their skill sets, new voice lines, new boss battles, and lots of other stuff. You can check out the whole list of features here I'll put the link to this page in the description below now without further ado let's get to the installation part first head on to the download page and download all these four files and put them in a single folder go to rpcs3 right click on persona 5 and click open install folder go to usr dir directory copy the p5r bus stops .cpk into the directory and then do the same with expanded bgm .cpk open the p5ex patch file and open usr dir folder inside the zip and copy both files into the directory now you can delete previous files that you've just copied here there should be only one psex.7zip file remaining now we want to install the custom patch for ex mod first go to this page reopen your rpcs3 and start your game down in the log menu press ctrl plus f and search for ppu executor hash copy the hash paste it here then press enter now click the drop down menu and choose p5ex and check the checkbox as you can see it automatically enables another required patch now click on the drop down menu again and select fixed cell underline def key check the checkbox again and now if you scroll down you can see all the patches enabled now go ahead and click on download patch.yml and choose new format after your download is complete go to your games patch manager note that these patches were already enabled and and that's why we only needed three custom patches. If you haven't already applied the recommended configuration for the game, be sure to check out my previous video. Now back to the tutorial. Make sure you've enabled these patches in the first place. Right click on one of the patches and select show patch file. Drag your downloaded patch file into the patches directory and rename it to imported underline patch. The reason we're renaming the patch file is because you can have your original patch.yml file intact and updated with RPCS3 in order to play other games and renaming this custom patch file makes it like an add-on and it will not replace the original patch file as you can see imported underlying patch contains only three patches now if you head back to rpcs3 and open the games patch manager you'll see that these patches are added make sure they are enabled and now you should uncheck enable mod support patch persona ex supports mods without needing to enable this patch now we're gonna open imolos if you have imolos already installed and you know how it works just drag the p5ex7zip file into imolos and enable it i'm gonna install imolos from the start for beginners watching this video after you've downloaded imolos copy it somewhere in your hard drive and open the program select persona 5 from the drop down menu on the top left corner then click the gear icon go to rpcs3 and open the game install folder and copy its path click the browse button next to output folder and select USR DIR folder. Do the same with eBoot path and at the end locate your RPCS3 executable file. Check all the checkboxes and click on unpack base files. This might take a few minutes, be patient. After it's done, click OK. Now drag the p5ex7zip file into imolos. As you can see, it is installed. Now head on to download packages and sort it by popular. There is one mod that you should absolutely install and that's fix softlock for community patches. You can install other mods too, most of them are compatible with a PSEX and you can either download mods directly from imolos or if you have them downloaded you can just drag them into imolos and it will be automatically installed. After you are done installing mods just remember to drag the p5 community patches softlock fix to the lowest part of the list. We do this because it's a low priority mod. Now you can enable your mods and start building 
downloading the package by clicking on the hammer icon. This will take a couple minutes. When it's done, you can open your game either from iMolos by clicking on the launch icon or simply by opening it from RPCS3. 